So a couple of times I've used the phrase constant juggling. In other words, we have a basic table of the Laplace transform of basic functions. And so we can work backwards, find the inverse Laplace transform of basic functions. But what if we have something that's just off by a constant, not what we expect? We can rearrange the constants so that we build exactly what we expect and can quote our results from the basic Laplace transform we know. For example, 1 over s to the 6th. Well, I know that 5 factorial over s to the 6th comes from t to the 5th, but I don't have 5 factorial on top. Well, let's just make it so. Put a 5 factorial on the top. Multiply by 1 over 5 factorial in front. It still says 1 over s to the 6th. But now I can recognize it as 1 over 5 factorial t to the 5th. Look at this whole polynomial. Well, it's not a polynomial. Look at this whole expression in s in that way. What do I want to see over s to the 4th? Well, I could say 3 factorial over s to the 4th is t cubed. I don't have 3 factorial. I have 17. Let's write minus 17 over 3 factorial times 3 factorial over s to the 4th. That gives me minus 17 over 3 factorial times t cubed, minus 17 over 6 times t cubed. 3 halves times 1 over s squared. Well, 1 over s squared is already the transform of t straight out. So this just came from, where does 3 halves 1 over s squared come from? This just came from 3 halves t. Minus 4 over s. Well, I know where 1 over s comes from. Let's just slip that. 4 down out front, minus 4 times 1 over s, then that must come from minus 4 times 1, minus 4. So constant juggling just means rearranging the constants so that I can recognize where these transforms came from. Look at this example. It's got an s squared plus 7 on the bottom, an irreducible quadratic. It's almost s squared plus omega squared, but 7 is not a perfect square. Uh, no matter. How about omega is squared of 7? Then this 7 says omega squared. So you want to rewrite this so you can recognize this as a sines and cosines with omega equal to squared of 7. If you want to look at the 4 over s squared plus 7, you want to change that to root 7 over s squared plus 7. So put a root 7 on top of the fraction. You're going to Take the inverse transform of, put a root 7 in the denominator under the 4. This still says 4 over s squared plus 7, but now it's prepped to read 4 over root 7 times the sine of root 7t. The negative 3s over s squared plus 7, actually this is good. s over s squared plus 7, that's a cosine transform. Cosine transform with omega equal to root 7. The minus 3 I just slipped down up front, and I have minus 3 times the cosine of root 7t. This is the beginning. This is like basic constant juggling. We'll do mid-level constant juggling, and we'll do some fancier constant juggling problems soon.